Stephen Casey, Nigeria number four. He was commonly known as the big boss, skipper to some, idol to many. Stephen Keshi was undoubtedly one of the great players and leaders to come out of Nigerian football. A great team man, a principled individual, and an outspoken character who always stood up for what he believed in, he is simply an African football icon. But on the 8th of June, a hero left this earth as Keshi passed away in the early hours of Wednesday morning after suffering a heart attack. The football world was in shock, and in an instant, the beautiful game had lost a respected figure with tributes pouring in from all over the globe. Nigeria Football Federation President Amaju Pinnick described Keshi's death as devastating, calling Keshi a superhero. Sunday Olise simply said, horrible news and sad day as our legendary captain and brother Stephen Keshi dies. We lost an iconic hero today. FIFA President Gianni Infantino also offered his condolences, while many players who played under Keshi were left devastated by the sad news. The outpouring of love is testament to what a great man Keshi was, a man who was born and bred in Nigeria and respected worldwide. Keshi began his playing days in Nigeria, turning out for ACB Lagos, before turning out for New Nigeria Bank from 1980 to 1984. Strong showings in his homeland led to his move to Côte d'Ivoire, where he played for Stade Abidjan and Africa Sports before heading to the bright lights of European football. It is in Belgium where Keshi made the biggest impact as he continued to develop into a fine defender, making over 120 appearances for Lokeren and Underlift over a five-year period. Keshi also went on to captain the Super Eagles, leading them to Africa Cup of Nations glory in 1994. All in all, the big boss made 64 appearances for his beloved Super Eagles, scoring a handy nine goals in the process. Keshi was always seen as a leader of men, and it was no surprise that he went into coaching and proved to be an instant success. His first job was the Togolese national team, whom he guided to their first and last World Cup appearance in 2006. From there, Keshi grew into a fine tactician, and while a spell with the Mali national side didn't yield the fruits of his hard labor, success was just around the corner. It came with the Super Eagles, as Keshi became only the second man to have won the Africa Cup of Nations, both as a player and a coach. The Super Eagles didn't stop there, and with Keshi at the helm, they qualified for the FIFA World Cup in 2014, and they thrilled the fans in the Sampa Nation with some enterprising football on their way to a round of 16 exit. After the World Cup in Brazil, Keshi had several run-ins with the football administrators in Nigeria, which eventually led to the big boss leaving his post. Following the release of Keshi, Nigerian football hasn't quite lived up to its potential, with the lack of authority within the national team evident on the park, with the results hard to come by. Keshi spent some time out of the spotlight but was being linked with a return to football, with the land of Paris reportedly eyeing the coach until his untimely death caught the entire continent by surprise. The late Stephen Keshi will forever be remembered for his soft-spoken tone as a man of great presence, a top-quality player, a top-quality coach, a family man, and a great human being. Stephen Okechuku Keshi, gone too soon, he will continue to lead in heaven, Africa, has lost one of its favorite sons. Keshi will forever be an idol to millions of people across the globe, and he will always be our big boss.